How's it going guys? It's Eclipse here and today we are going to be testing out some of the more broken tier 10 tanks and also we'll be jumping into the auto loading tier 8s and tier 7s that you can use within World of Tanks and hopefully you'll join me along for the entire stream. If you don't however you can always come back and watch the uh, full video on the channel later on if you're interested um, but let's get into it. We're going to be testing out multiple different tanks and uh, yeah just jumping in to see if we can overload World of Tanks so starting off let's play the 57 heavy and this should be an interesting one and um, we can see whether or not it's actually going to end up <laughs> going as we expect because as nine times out of ten when we play in on stream it usually ends up going badly at some degree so yeah fingers crossed it's actually a good one hi guys nice to see you in here the early birds I see so uh we're going to be playing autoloaders for the predominant time on the game. And the first map we actually get is Airfield, so it's nice to see. So, hi Peter and hi Chris. It's nice to see you again. Right, fingers crossed this actually goes quite well, because 57 Heavy is a, a bit of a machine when it comes to uh, Tier 10. And you usually do quite well in... In this and especially on the map airfield's a pretty decent one because uh, you can just poke around the corners and stuff so maybe we'll see uh, a big game in this one can't guarantee it though uh, good morning to you as well Tony right then fingers crossed this actually goes quite well right so how does airfield usually go? Oh, we got a KPZ trying to push up. I'm doing good. I'm good. I've um, I've not long finished work for the day, so pushing on some word of tanks. <laughs> Great to see you streaming again. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice to have you guys alongside as well. Oh, we've got. A perfectly balanced and new position that Wargaming have introduced into the game because why would you? I mean hello? What is going... Wouldn't... Brilliant. As I say, nine times out of ten on this for game Wargaming just do some... Well... I won't blame my team because the the point is is that I went the wrong way and didn't actually look at where my team were going. But it starts off really well. Hi Tula. Hi Anton. Hope you're all doing well. So we start the video as we mean to go on by just breaking ourselves. Maybe the title of the video is slightly or replay or stream, whatever you want to call it. We're slightly uh, a clickbait to myself. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I I went there. I wasn't actually looking. So instead of the T fifty seven heavy, we'll have to play the alternate version of the fifty seven heavy, which is the fifty B. Although we do have to put camo on. Not ideal. Should we go with the? garish looking camos again Hafiz uh, nice to see you by the way and I'm so happy you got the first mark of excellence in T95 well T95 E3 by watching and learning your videos I'm glad that they uh, they do actually help sometimes perfect timing to come onto the stream yeah right as I do it make a bot play Watching those live streamers become your new Friday routine. <laughs> oh, it's good to hear. It's good to hear. I haven't got any uh, beverages this time around, unfortunately. I've ran out. Or run out, whatever you want to call it.
I mean, the 50B is a, is a classic. Absolutely love this tank. I've only played it a few times, you know. But this was probably one of the easiest videos I've ever made. Tula, nice congratulations on your first mercenary tank. I think I've only got like two, so you've managed to get way more than me, if we don't count premiums. Did you notice early in the morning, tier 10 and era 3 are almost all bots, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't really play early in the morning anymore. I used to do it all of the time. That's when I'd play, but I've swapped my kind of rotor at work, so I work early mornings to go to bed early. Early-ish, I mean like 12 o'clock or whatever. But I'm up at like half four in the morning. Right, can we catch someone out at the beginning? Because this is uh, this is one position that you always catch someone crossing in. Oh, there we go. Of course, as you do, you know, getting hit on the move by someone, completely aiming, swinging their turret around, gets penned, of course, because why wouldn't you want to get penned, as well? Love it. This is the bit where it's kind of bad to be a, uh, as if we're outspotted here. To be an autoloader with no turret armor. I start playing at 6 o'clock. 6 a.m. Oh my god. That's an early riser. I don't think I could face this game that early in the morning. Probably make me sick or something. So like you couldn't like you couldn't eat a steak in the morning, could you? It'd be just completely wrong. That's that's like playing this game. Except it's not as good as a steak. So so far, this game looks like another loss as well. Because we've got no map control. Where are they? Got the 120, it seems like. Oh, go on. Stay there. Oh. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, terrible so far. 1600. Hopefully we can push out some more damage. Got the 120, and it seem, seems like how the FE421 used to be. Oh, the Chieftain. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. From when I, from when I played it, I thought it was really good. Uh-oh. I haven't played much order tanks in the last couple of days, so this could go absolutely horrendously, as I'm probably expecting. I'm not used to the Russian number generator at the moment. One shot, easy as you like. Can we get another one? Yes, we can. Goodbye. Can we get another one? No. Go on, try poke. Yes, brilliant idea. You have to be a little bit careful when you come up here, you know. Because you can get hit from over there, you can also get hit from the hill, which is kind of bad. May have just avoided the shell there, you know. Uh, as in your time, four o'clock in the morning. Oh my word! Uh, Eclipse, any tips on how to deal with the object two seven nine if you encounter it head on? I found it hard to f try and flank them if there's no support. Uh, the object two seven nine on console, you can pretty much pen it with every single tank in the game because you have the um. Oh. I mean, must be a fun game for the FV 4005. Um, 
Yeah, the uh, the two seven nine. You basically just fire premium at it. It like completely ruins it. You can hit. The, you can pen the um, the commander's hatch, but if you're playing a tier ten vehicle, you can pen it every time in the. Uh, as if that fifty seven heavy game's still going on. I mean, I guess I did die straight away, so. Right. I can't have a bad game three times in a row, right? Surely. Surely not. Lower plate is the best, yeah. 279 these lower plate is disgusting. Right. Let's start having a good game. I've had enough now. I've been I've been botting it around. It's time to focus. Chloroform, nice to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. Oh dear. Tell you what, this tank is actually class. Uh, isn't the 279E the one that has four tracks? Yeah. It's, um... It's, it's usually pretty good. I actually kind of like it on console. Because it's 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 not overpowered as it is on PC. On... <laughs> on, uh... On PC, it's just com something completely else. I mean, if you've watched the most recent video on the PC channel, you'll see the uh, 279E in action. Just taken out... <laughs> Everyone. It's actually kind of uh, disgusting. Right, let's uh let's crack on. Need to get rid of the uh, T one hundred. But now he's gone undetected. What is he doing? I actually have no idea why people do this right. Cause he's gonna He's basically just got taken out for no reason. Um, hi, Aceto. I hope you're doing well. You're loving the new skin on the Chieftain. Yeah, it's pretty nice. What is the enemy team doing? Am I witnessing something just disgusting? There we go. That's what I call broken auto loading. Mm -mm -mm. That's if you bounced off of it. Right. Hi, Bernie. I hope you're doing well. Uh oh. That's a machine. I don't quite know what this guy was doing, but. I'll take it. There we go. Easy wins. The machine's yoloing because obviously perfect level plays. The enemy team are like actually camping. I've never seen such brilliant plays from them. Yeah, it's not so much fun, is it, now? I need that. Yeah, the TVP is, is one of my favourite tanks in the game. Oh, look. I've triggered the machine now. Obviously wants to get out. Oh, my word. Bernie again. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Coming in with the, uh, the $20 donation. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Tula. Your highest tier in the tech tree tanks is tier 7. Oh, trust me. Once you start getting, like, um, some tanks in the game, it, it actually gets, like, so much better. Oh, is this batch app reloading? Hello there. Easy. <laughs> your kid stole your credit card. <laughs> 
keeps <laughs> keeps gifting me stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And get there, it takes time. It certainly does. What? Excuse me? I'm surprised to bounce the two shots off of uh, the side of the FE. Usually you'd pen. Only because it's a sort of like... The, the third one, I think, hit the upper plate of the FE. But I was very surprised it didn't pen the others. Right, I've had enough of bouncing off of you, my friend. Yeet. This guy is not actually a bomb. God damn it. I was hoping to farm some damage on that guy. Never mind. Ah, he wasn't actually a complete buffoon, which is saying something because <laughs> the rest of his team were. Holy cow. You can tell. 780 is trash. Don't waste your money on that. Yeah, the 780 is just awful. I didn't like it. But I would 100% buy the Battle Pass, though. Like, you'd just get it for free, essentially. Plus, you've got ages to complete it as well. Only do World War Two battles to f help fill up your XP for contract levels. I think Cold War is the better one. Because you get um, a ton and more like damage and spotting and stuff like that for a lot of them. And you pretty much get the same XP. But if you really wanted to complete like XP, you'd probably just play low tier light tanks. And just farm them because you can get like 2000 basic speed pretty easily. I say pretty easily, I mean like compared to other vehicles if you did a similar result. So I jump into low tier tanks. I'm never going to complete any of these like tier 10 contracts, they're actually kind of disgusting to be able to complete. I have no idea. Right, hopefully we can have a decent one. Yeah, yeah, it's good to good to jump in and play um, tanks for the daily doubles as well because they count. Oh, I actually penned. I'm surprised. Can we hit his upper plate again? No. That's the answer. I really wanted to get that, um... Uh, to get the, uh, Panzer 7 there. But I didn't manage to. I have a lot of time to complete the contracts. Yeah, but they take, like... The amount of XP is actually unbelievable. And I can use times 5 XP boosters and I don't even get close to completing them. Like the last one I think I had like 800k XP to get before I could complete it. And like I played a lot of games of World of Tanks. So yes, if you play the game as like a 15 year old that comes home every day from like school and literally only plays World of Tanks for like 5 hours a day then... Yeah, I'm sure that it's really easy to complete, but people with with lives find it a lot di more difficult. Like if you go to buy lives, I, I mean, not saying that someone who's 16 doesn't have a life, I just mean a lot more free time, someone who works and stuff. It's like impossible. That's why contracts should be about, like, actually having, like, challenges as opposed to just being, like, you have to play, like, 
a thousand five hundred games to be able to get the XP required because that's basically what they're saying like for the average person you have to play a thousand games for someone that's good at the game you have to play 900 or like 800 or whatever the XP difference would be like it just doesn't make sense it's not an incentive for good players to grind them out and it's definitely not an incentive for like players that are like casuals like because they're just never going to be able to complete it and it's also not rewarding either like wow I get three days of premium for spending like a hundred hours completing this contract like wow and I get this tank for spending a hundred hours of my life just trying to actually get it probably doing and playing tanks that you weren't a fan of to be able to do it as well so like I just find that they're a bit silly to be honest what tank would you take the type 62 or the TANK I every time would take the T uh, the T type 62 not the TANK because I just think that, that tanks although it's probably good it's probably quite boring as well it I just like the Chinese light tanks slash medium tanks so like I feel like they don't get a lot of love in World of Tanks. Come on. There's someone over there, you know. And take a reload. I've done nothing this game again. And then literally as soon as I take it, I should have realised that. I need this guy to punish that guy if he comes around. Uh, Alex Black, I am a big fan of the 1-2-1. How is this guy? What are you doing? I didn't know where that guy was. I actually cannot have a good game in the T57 today. I was hoping we'd come on, chill out, do 7k damage, go home again. But apparently today is not the day just having bad games every single time Fi finally after like four months you got your friend to play World of Tanks now he's addicted and won't le let me play anything else uh, what are you doing you made your friend play <laughs> That's like torture, right? Surely. Bernie, uh, yes, I did. Thank you very much for the tank skins. I, I've literally just jumped on for the first time in ages, so... Um, I hadn't seen it. I was going to message you afterwards to say thanks, but thank you either way. I can test them out in game now. Give them a good go. Oh yeah, the skins look awesome to be fair. What is going on with my capture card? Hopefully this doesn't break it. Didn't retrack him, Are you joking? T one twenty four skin is the best. Oh, it isn't the best. Chieftain one looks amazing. Every time, man, there's just. N I can never get more than two shells. This guy's gonna turn when our teammate comes around, I think. Or is he? 
Where did he fire, man? That was terrible. Don't know where that was going. I can't be asked to push that. I'm gonna take a reload. Wish World of Tanks would make more skins, so do I. I always enjoy the skins a lot more than the OP premiums that they just release. Every single time. It's a light tank, man. Might have to go in. Less skins, more balancing. Yeah, but they don't do the balancing even when they don't make the skins, so... <laughs> I'd just rather see the skins and have just as many OP premiums, if not less. I'm hoping that it's not an autoloader. You know what? I am having shite games today. Absolute bag of dung beetle. I can't get a full clip off on anyone. <laughs> Careful, because they'll make uh, they'll make skins able to be able to give you more camo. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting for that little trick. Hey there. Don't mind if I diddly do. I do mind. Really? I'm just gonna have to go for it if I want more damage. Two point seven K. You know what, that would get me absolutely nowhere on the marks. What a shocking game. Come on. Let's just go, boys. Bro's not going to be able to compete. Four K nearly. Nah. It's okay. Expecting better things. Erlenberg, not a fan. Right then. <laughs> you got 5k damage two times in Cold War. That's not bad, you know. Do I have a Skoda T56? Yeah, I do, actually. We can jump in that. We'll jump in it. We'll give it a go and see what it ends up being like. The most OP tank at tier 3. The Panzer 1C. Nah, nah. We're not dropping down that low. What's the hardest tank line to grind? In terms of getting, like, bad tanks, the Type 5 Heavy, I, I cannot grind that tank line, man. Playing them stock is, is awful. It is the most OP tank at tier 3, probably. What is the Atomic doing? Is he trying to give me some a full clip? Oh, he is. Come on. Yes! Our first full clip, finally, of today. <laughs> Other than in the Skoda, I think. Or TVP. Right. It's 
Time to get further forward. What is going on with team deployment? Like, I swear, no one moves. Or at least today. Oh, look. It's someone in the Clips clan. Day Lewis, by the way. <laughs> Damn, Daniel. Do you think what will ever come out with something to build your own tank in game? Like different hulls, guns, armor, etc. To buy a mix to make a tank to play in the game? No, I don't think so. It'd be cool if they brought out like a full customization where like you could put on like stuff like that. Like if we could, if we could like put, I don't know, like a bush on your tank or something. Not nothing to actually make your tank better, but I just mean like if you could customize your own tank, you know, like color different parts and stuff like that. That'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind it if they like made it where you'd have to buy stuff, like you have to buy a bush. But um, if you ever played things like Forza, where you could um, apply like a camo to a specific place on your vehicle or stuff like that rather than just having their like bog standard stuff so you could like color like the hole a different color and you could color the tracks they've got it like a somewhat in pc but it's uh, it's not as good Don't have a fire extinguisher. Oh my word! <laughs> She's getting two shot. You know what? Maybe maybe auto loaders aren't the play today. Oh look, a personal offer. You know what, this has to be one of the worst days of World of Tanks I've played in, in a long time. Four, like, beyond shocking games. Hi, Grin. <laughs> Grin and bear it, yeah. I'd, I could really do that right now. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to try and do the same. Just getting absolutely shafted. This is daily for you. And this is why beer was invented. Yeah, it's not like last year, last week where I was just chilling, having a good time, you know, cracking one open. This time it's it's serious, down to business, actually trying to have good games and, and doing like ten times worse than last week. Oh dear. I'm not in my element today. I don't know why I'm like pushing up. My aim is bad today. I'm like staying in places way too long. I don't know what's going on. Other than me just being bad. I just... It ain't it, Chief. What is going on? I'm actually amazed. What do you reckon? See? Of course. Don't sweat it, yeah. I do. I do. <laughs> anyone can buy anyone can send me one if that I'd be much appreciated. <laughs> Hi Albert. I hope you're doing well. 
Goal for today is get tank airborne and land a penning shot whilst airborne. You know what, that would actually be fun. This guy's going to get triggered. Yep. I knew it. But I kind of have to leave now. <laughs> Watch. I'm going to get hit by a tank destroyer that sat on the ridge. And I 100% know it. But if we get over this ridge, it's not as bad. There we go. Now we can get down on the train tracks. Oh. <laughs> Could have got hit by the griller. Look here, to be honest with you, 90% of my time on World of Tanks is spent looking at the map. Except from today, for today I'm just playing like a bot, and you can see it. No, I shouldn't really be aiming like that. Could get hit from the griller. People up on our side of the tracks just hit the Iron Arnie over there where the bushes are. But I want to spot over this side of the team. Please don't. There we go. Getting some spotting damage, hopefully. Run, Forrest, run. best place to go is over this side if you're pushing on on from here because it's hard to get a shot on you for some reason me and this TVP like I genuinely just don't have like terrible games in it like compared to some of the other tanks I'm getting like actual delay for some reason today like lag. Only in this this game, and I think one other. What do they have on their team? An FV. Oh dear, that could be catastrophic. As if he went for that one. What are you doing? Are you... Oh, giving me spotting damage, I see. Uh oh. Please don't be an FV up there. Which sensitivity affects your camera? To be honest with you, it's been a while since I've tried. Um, but we can have a look at the stats or the settings even the FV is still alive you know that scares me I don't think we're going to get much more assist over this I should really go on the opposite side of the railway track. I was really hoping I could get a shot on this guy. Do you like the Astron? I I would d don't really know. I kind of did. I thought it was quite good. I did do a full video on the Astron. Right, time to go. We know where the FE is now. That was the bit like holding me back from doing anything. He 
to get rid of this uh, M47. But we've got to be very careful of the uh, FV because he can hit us over here, I think. He just spotted me. That is not good. I don't know why these people are still up here. Like, it actually triggers me at this point in the game. Like, have you done absolutely nothing? Like, hello? Like, two full health medium tanks that have actually been doing nothing all game. Because there's no one for them to shoot anyway. And they're still sat there. Literally, I don't get it. People never move on this map, and I have no idea why. And, like, it's not even a map where you just get, f like, absolutely buffooned on for moving either. I s knew I shouldn't have stayed for the third shell. Or second shell. The Rex is a tier 8. Yeah, yeah. Cannot count on your teammates even if you ask. Yeah, I know. No, <laughs> that one medium is actually still up there, man. I don't think he can even see these. Like, I have no idea what he's doing. I mean, maybe you can see this Iron Army, but even then, probably not. This is the bit where it's kind of boring to be uh, this tank. It's someone just shot there. So I'm assuming someone has a, a shot on me. Learning awareness by yourself takes a bit. if there's a full health. It must have been the Panzer 7 that fired. I mean, this is just absolutely pointless. I'm going to move. I'm doing nothing here. What tank am I looking to buy? Wait. I don't really buy any tanks if you're asking me. I don't usually buy tanks on this game. Just because 90% of this, this is the most boring game I think I've ever played on this map. Could have got this T forty four, but then you get spotted if you do, which makes it just terrible. Yeah, the skin on this tank is cool. They got rid of the Iron Arnie, which is actually nice to see. But I'm going to go over the other side now. There is lots of good tanks in the tech tree, but you have no idea which one. IS-7. I love the IS-7, man. 
this one. I mean, the TVP is class to get. The grind isn't very good. Like, up and... Well, I say the grind isn't that good, but, like, the tier 6 is amazing. Tier 7 is, like, meh. I'm playing, like, a T43, basically. Um, the tier... 8 is, is just awful. Especially if you have to play at stock. So, absolutely useless. Um, but if you can get past that, then the tier 9 and 10 are, are insane. The Conway. Love the Conway. I actually have no idea. I don't have heat loaded, so I mean that guy's completely pointless to shoot at. You prefer the Scorpion G because of the 360 turret. I'm assuming over the Conway. Now we're rocking. We've got the heat loaded, the unpenable. The FV is still back here somewhere. Thing is, he doesn't fire for it. Right. The game's gonna end. I mean, we'll win because it's gonna end, but I mean, a win is. This type of win is not a win. 90% of the action within the first, like, two minutes and absolutely nothing after that. You've got two marks on your Wolverine. Bernie, mate. Bernie. What are you doing? Can't believe you're playing tier 6. Well, tier 5, is it? But oh, this guy is just having pointless games. He just sat at the back, not doing anything. Granted, like, I'm not doing anything, but he's just being boring. Like, what the hell do I do? What's this guy? got to hope we've done more damage than the opposite team now. Because I don't think we're going to take them all out. Like, what is going on? I'm, I'm firing, like, well before... Like, you can see where my reticle is when I'm firing. They're coming out, like, the side. Like, unusually for, um... Like, differently to usual. Gotta make these count. I'm only getting enough. Damn. Did we win? No, of course we didn't. You know what? That was 15 minutes of my life. I will actually never get back. I mean, that M48 that was... This is the guy that was literally camping at the back all game. How many shells did he fire? He fired two shells. I mean... Hello? N not that I want to crap on anyone, but come on, man. Like, surely that's not fun. That's my point. I would rather YOLO in within the first minute of the game and do something than, uh, than end up... Uh, Dealing, spending 15 minutes to get two shells off. That's one round every seven and a half minutes. I'm sure, I'm sure that was a riveting game. And you don't learn anything from games like that. Like if you camp at the back and you're, and you get taken out, you've not learned anything other than oh, like, you've been taken out by your teammate, or that when the enemy team have like pushed so hard and you've done zero damage because you've been sat at the back at the end of the game. You're not learning anything, and equally, if your team just ruffle stomp the opponents, you've also not learned anything. So uh, I never understand people camping at the back. Let's hope our team don't go, don't camp in this area here because it's once again a useless map. Like I'm instantly, instantly seeing the 780 rocking up. 
I'm seeing the 705 going the wrong way. The 780 is coming this way. Nice to see. How many times have people bullied me like pushing on purpose? I don't know I don't really know what you mean. I actually have no idea. <laughs> what star says you're an ace seal clubber? I don't know what to say, Bernie, but that's not okay. Seven eighty doesn't have a view range to spot us. Nice, easily up the hill. The only way you can really survive your team doing this on this flank is is literally getting up the hill. And even then, like if your team don't do anything. It still doesn't help you out. It just gives you time to at least get multiple clips off. So it's going to be someone camping at the back, right? Here. Just looking to see where the tracer comes in, if it does at all. I might have been seeing things, you know. Army Dog, 9,100. Thank you for becoming an, a member. Thank you very much. Always appreciate, appreciate your support. I feel like the members don't. I always feel like they don't. I didn't shout them out enough, but thank you very much for becoming a member to the channel. It does help me out massively as well. Especially in times like this where. As if. Hello. Oh, there's an autoloader back there, you know. But now I know where he is. <laughs> nice try, 261. The blind experience. Uh, Progetto 65, the Italian medium, right? I quite like that. He's obviously moved. God damn it. I want to get this 705A. Eh? You know what? This is, where, this is where AP rounds just suck. I think we're going to win, you know, somehow. <laughs> no, actually, maybe not. Just got to stay on the hill. And he didn't pan us, lovely. What you like to see. Now we pull behind the house to avoid any little ratty artillery pieces from coming. I'm 
Thank you, Army God. Oh, Army God? Army Dog. I mean, we can always rename you. <laughs> Leopard One's coming. I think he might be coming up, though. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Shambles. Shambles. No, oh, that was actually shocking. You can tell I'm playing absolutely dog. Because I'm going to get killed by Artie now. <laughs> Ooh. That was a bit spicy, that one. And we're reloading half of our clip. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. I'm tired drunk. Yeah, I just... I saw your um, message after. Got to trap the Fosh before he comes around. Uh, can't win against the Turan. Maybe we can, our team can still clutch it though. Um, Jeremy Moore, sorry if you answered this previously. By the way, feel free to ask any questions. No question is a stupid question, by the way. But, uh, how do you know when to shoot what type of ammo? So basically, it's down to what armor the enemy player has. Basically is what determines what round you should shoot. That's the underlying cause. So like, if for example, I'm in this tier 10 game and I'm looking down the team list and I see an Ariat P46, right? I'm thinking that tank's a medium tank. It doesn't have any armor. I don't, I'm not going to be able to bounce really if I hit, if I basically just hit them somewhere that isn't like an auto ricochet. But if I'm looking at the Jaeger on the enemy team, it might be a different story to the point where like my standard rounds may not actually be able to go through the weak point of the enemy tank. So my premium rounds that I've got in this tank, I think they're APCR. So I just load those, which have more, more penetration. So I would be able to go through the armor of the opposite tank that I'm facing. Or, alternatively, um, you might get better shell velocity, so if you're worried about like being able to lead at opponents as well, you can you can hit them easier. Um, stuff like that. They've changed some of the maps. Yeah, the loads of the maps have completely changed. I didn't like that. I don't know like what they've done on airfield though. They've like given the enemy team like a super easy spot to get into at the beginning of the game. Like ridiculous as well. V Dubs, happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Hopefully you've had a good week so far. And if you like me, don't try and ruin it by playing World of Tanks. Right then. Can we find some unsuspecting tier 10 vehicles to farm with this uh, perfectly balanced tank? Ragnarok.
Oh, you bought the Skoda T50. Mm -mm -mm. Right, it's time to turn around and defend the base, I think. Do I recommend this tank? I mean, it's very, very good. Buying it at full price? Probably not, because no tank is actually worth it for full price. But if it's half price, yeah, probably. It's a very good tank. Also looks cool. Gets like 900 alpha. Oh god, voice crack. Gets like 900 alpha at tier 8. Which is pretty disgusting. We're going to lose because no one's going back to base. No one can... I can't spot either. As you can quite clearly see, we just got spotted. I'm going to have to close the distance if I want to spot them. I don't want to lose to Cap either. I'd rather throw myself away. No, that's not what I wanted. I swear there was a defend the base thing. There it is. There we go. My prediction, as you'd expect. The only bad thing is like people could be like over there. There's not a whole lot of cover over here either. And there's also there can be people in the middle where the super conqueror are. There's someone over here. Oh no. I didn't realise you could get seen from over there. We got lucky that the 268 wasn't actually aiming properly. But do we need to aim? That's the real... Question. Apparently not. What we do need to do, though, is get, in, get towards the cap because we're going to lose. Can I do a seal cl club video? What are you asking me? What sort of question is that? Can I do a SEAL Club video? Absolutely not. As much as I want to hit the Taran, because he's out in the open. I want to reset the C-75. Oh no. That is bad. Just need someone to hit this guy, you know. Ah, they have. Never mind. Lovely. Now we can hopefully side scrape against this guy. You know, what? it's been so long since I've actually side scraped on this game. Mainly because you don't really need to 90% of the time. What are you doing? Hello. Anyone home? Pro's fired all of his clips now. Pretty much has the same reload as me. Knew it. Turan. Turan is trying to, to run me over. Get it? Funny, right? Surely. After YOLO it. Don't make me Why has why have they still not come back, man? Like hell Just don't think about it. Just don't think about it. There's no need to think. There's there's actually no need to think about what your team are doing. <laughs> Scooby 1K, you got it completely right. You don't trust stairs, they're always up to something, yeah.
That is awful. And I love it. Duke La Pass. This is not the map I was looking for. Duke La Pass games always end up the exact same. Like, literally the exact same. One team wins over this side, which is our team. The enemy team win over this side. Then it's a case of just, like, farming the opposite side. And whoever manages to farm the best, then you win. T and I matchmaking. Probably the best matchmaking you'd want in this. You can still bounce a few rounds, but there's enough hit points on the enemy team to actually farm. Like, have, like, a really good game. You just watched the 279E video on the other channel. How different is the console version? Oh, it's, um... The armor is, like, worse on console. Like, pretty much every tank can pen you through the upper plate if, if they load premium. I say every tank... I don't mean it. Like, every tier 10 can pretty much pen you through the upper plate with premium rounds if they aim at the right place. Um, and they have, like, good penetration. Probably, like, just slightly above average penetration for the tier. Um, and then, as soon as you expose the side, you just get absolutely just farmed to death. Um, and, yeah, the armor just doesn't work as good. But, equally, it's still a good tank. It just means that it's not absolutely broken. It's what PC should have had if they made a balanced version. But, obviously, they didn't. And console got the balanced version, which is actually surprising for once. Got a VKB. I don't think he can hit me from there. We can push around. Oh, Tiger 2. You know what? The accuracy of this tank sucks. I think we low rolled as well. Clip, should I go for the Tech Tree line of Progetto or not? Uh, please help me. I love the Tech Tree line of the Progetto. I thought it was really good, you know. Super, super good. Like, the grind was easy. The tanks are good. The end tank is good. Like... Yeah, I'd, I'd 100% recommend it. Why can't I see this guy? Hello? I don't want to get tunnel vision. Party, do you have to do me dirty like that? I don't quite know what the Pantera was doing there, but... Who's in like an actual good position, decided he's going to run away from the good position into all of the teammates. Hmm. Granted, I sometimes do that as well. But. What the hell? Oh, I've got another like YOLO wagon on the team. I don't get it. Why do people throw themselves away so much? This is where the intraclip of the Skoda is not particularly the best. I need to get rid of the TNH, to be honest. Never mind. Didn't pen. Sucks to be bad. Actually bouncing rounds on World of Tanks. Hello? Oh, yeah. Artillery coming for me. Make it annoying for him. Yes, we do. No. Would Amarak me. You know what? This is this is a tank that just needs premium. It just needs premium. Like I honestly should not be bouncing off a Tiger 2. Especially not the weak point of a Tiger 2. I wanna check the pen. It might not even be that bad. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky on the pen rolls. And we've lost as well. And I don't have the hit points to carry. The arty wants me bad as well. Not good. What 
are you doing? Might be able to get one more shot. Tiger. Don't do it. Another bad game. <laughs> it's not possible to have a good one. I think I got overloaded in this one. Too much, too many autoloaders. Another shocking game again. Oh well. Anyway. What other autoloaders can we play? If you have any recommendations, we'll give it a go. What was that? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Bernie, for the three dollar donation. Always appreciate it. You know what? Let's play the Cobra. Thank you very much. I do appreciate the sticker as well. Your penance for seal clubbing. How dare you? How dare you? Can't believe it. What was the um let's have a look at that, Skoda. I wanna find out what the pen was on the standard rounds. Two oh eight. Oh, it's not shocking. It's still not good though. Still lower by the most tanks. What was I going to play? Oh, that was it. The Cobra. I will play the Iron Rain TD. We can get that one in the bag. I love the Iron Rain. Let's give the, let's give the King of the Autoloaders a go. Wait... Did they change? You know what? We'll just go full send. I can't remember. How much alpha does this have? Oh, it's four shots per clip. Right. I'm glad we, we didn't get that one wrong. Cobra go brrrt. Right then. Why autoloaders don't have good pen? I think, I think to be honest, it's a balancing feature by Wargaming that they try and reduce how much damage you're dealing. Can we win by playing on top of the? on top of the Cobra. I won't do that. We can pop ourselves in the corner. Nope. Someone... Someone loving us. where the long reload of the Cobra sucks, absolutely sucks. Because like if I'm in any other tank, the AMX 65T would have taken 
probably like three shells. He's now probably in a place where I can't hear him. Of course he is. Just hope the light tank spots someone else. Oh. That's the bad thing about these as well. Shell delay. Bad place. 40 second reload is just so long. Would you recommend 430U over anything else? Do you mind, Stumpy? You know what? It's time to pull right back. Good thing about this tank. It's fairly fast backwards compared to some of the tanks. What would be an ideal alpha pen for the T56? Like... 230 maybe like you can pretty much go for everything but once again like I always find the thing about premium rounds kind of BS by Wargaming because it's like if you fire premium with it, it it literally negates the whole balancing factor so it's all, all you're doing there is just basically telling people that you can't make money in the tank if you want to have good games and you can't make money unless you have good games so you might as well fire premium which completely t takes off one of the balancing features. Uh, can you easily explain how to send a whole video game video? Um, well, as long as it, the thing with with uh, with console that's kind of annoying is that we don't have like a full replay feature, so. People that might might be able to view replay or like share a replay in the game, it's usually not that good. Um, but what you can do is uh, is like uh, you can send it send it to my email if you've got like a video file. Or, alternatively, if you record the entire gameplay by, like, double tapping and then going to capture options, you can do it that way if you want. And then you can send send it to me in an email link. Uh, but the best thing to do on that case is to send me it, like, upload it to YouTube and then send me a link to the video on YouTube. Oh, that's a cobra, isn't it? A cobra. Two thirty. What am I smoking? Well, anything more than that, and it is just like a case of it's just going to be way better than everything else. So, the Skoda T fifty six is a tier eight. Remember, like it does. It shouldn't actually get premium, uh, like tier ten pen. Especially with the fact that it gets like the the gun that it already gets. I can't really do anything on this map. In a bad place right now. Well, I mean, you can say goodbye to winning this game. Maybe I can take out this uh, light tempo. Hey there, big fella. How's it going? What? Great to see the lag. Always keep your turret towards the opponents. Take an extra 200 damage from ramming. Don't mind if I diddly do. He's going in the wrong direction. Most tier 10 heavies have 250 standards, such as the 5A. Been loving the SU 130pm. What were the uh, skins, by the way? What were they for? Again. She so got the E4, the the Rin. The Leopard 1 and the Chieftain and the E4. 
We can play one game in the E4, you know. Oh. Loading. You know what? Low key looks so good. What about the tier 10 chieftain? Oh, there you go. Nice. Then the Leo, isn't it? That just that just looks ridiculous. That's cool, man. Right. Obviously, I was being weird in this tank. Had full HE. Right, let's jump into this, see how well it goes. Haven't played what in over six. Great to see you did a face reveal. I think I'm going to log in and grab the Ragnarok while it's on sale. Any major changes since I've been gone? I'm assuming like six. Is that six days or six months? I'm assuming six like months. Um, major changes? Not really. There's not been that many like game breaking changes. I mean, they've brought in a few tanks. They've brought in these skins recently. Um, but tank lines, not massively. Uh, there isn't, hasn't been any like brand new ones or anything. Did you know the beach part in the Trinity has have the exact same gun? Yeah, I think so. They're the medium mercenary tanks at tier 8. I think I kind of like those, you know. It's been pretty... Pretty cool to see some less broken medium tanks. Right, I'm going to do something I probably shouldn't. I'm gonna go. I never understand why people poke there, you know. Right. I want to be aggressive. 90% of the time, being aggressive is never worth it. Can we hit this guy? Mm -mm, we can, but we didn't manage to pen, of course. And he breaks my engine. Not worth fully aiming, though. Conqueror's doing. Does he want to give me a bit of uh, lamb sauce? The Lerva doesn't have 280 pence standard, does it? I know it has like ridiculous premium rounds, but I don't think it has 280 standard, surely not.
Yeah, the whole point is like, I could say the FE4005 should have like 0.1 accuracy because it's got bad accuracy. But obviously the whole point is like it gets that good gun so that it's not broken. Because everyone would be whining like all of the time if, if tanks like that had uh, an amazing gun as well. Loki scared, you know. This Fosh is going to rock up. I'm also scared of Artie saying hello. Conqueror. What are you doing, mate? I will actually take this guy out. Oh, the round tried to do, do us dirty there as well. It went so far high. Almost hit his turret. Double round Russians. Like, who would have thought? Go on. Ram me. E50, go on. I'm just a weak little... I'm weak. Honestly, I am. I swear. I don't weigh anything. This guy's trying to bait me around, I think, you know. The Fosh is going to be sat there. I can almost call it. Problem with side scraping with the E4 is that giant mic. Oh, hello there, T92. Should we go for him? Oh, a friendly art is just stumped him. Go on. Try it. You're not going to be able to pen, bro. <laughs> uh, easy. This Fosh is over here, though, I think. Uh, he's on the hill in front. Oh, no. It was an I-7. Oh, crap. No. He wasn't on the hill. I'm surprised he didn't spot him, you know. Well, that's the E4, anyway. Looks, um... The camo looks good. Right, let's, uh... Let's jump in the Chieftain. Got a video on the Chieftain coming out this weekend, so... I've got like one really good game in it, so we might have to, uh... oh no, I haven't applied this camo to everything. That would have been, right. There we go. What's the most underwhelming premium? I actually have no idea, you know. Underwhelming premium. The CDC? That is shocking. Oh, it's not even shocking, it's just like really... Like, lame, I think. It's just not really got a lot. They normally work out, so that around six to eight months after they bring the and they, yeah, but they haven't brought they they've been slowing it down like that used to be the rule, but now I think it's more like the exception. Like usually it's a long, a lot longer 
for wargaming to bring out stuff on console. You know what? This looks like it's got a silencer on the end. That's kind of cool, you know. Even if it is just a dirty old rag that they've shoved on the end of it. It's still kind of cool. What is going on with people playing airfield like it's a complete different map? Like, let's all go in the middle. That will definitely work. Good evening, musket sergeant. I hope you're doing well. Chris the chemist, good to see you back. Running standard medkit. Of course, about. <laughs> Running standard medkit. Uh, it's it's probably because I just don't see the point in it. Like, if I wanted to optimise 100%, then yeah, but it is another, like, 20k a game. And if you're playing, like, thousands of games, it's a lot of money. And I, I run out of silver all of the time. So, I'd rather say, like, it's not going to make my games that much better, is what I'm trying to say. E4 fired. E5's coming round. Actually, bouncing rounds off of the Chieftain. Hello. What's going on here then? Kind of scared that E4 is going to come around again. Hi, Blackhawk. I hope you're doing well. You did. Oh well. Might as well capitalise. See, there is where a lot of people would have just, like, not gone around again, even though they've fired, so... I don't mind. It's E4. I wouldn't be KB if I was you. Where did that shell go, man? Baiting out on corners is something I haven't done in a long time. Now oh, we've got Brainiac in the... Uh, FV. Can we still jump down off of this cliff, you know? Or is it just an instant death now? Because we're gaming it really good. You can. At least I think. I feel like I ha I'm not talking because I'm like a... Need to get this E5 out. What is going on, man? I'm playing bad. E4, hello. I'm die as well. Okay, not a problem. Low roll, of course I do. Brilliant. I actually can't believe I didn't take out the E5. I kept missing. I should just, yeah, exactly, using premium. Could have, could have penned the E5 what like twice there if I was literally loading premium. 
but trying to play for free doesn't work as one of the OG content creators would say ah oh, yeah she don't need to fire premium yeah okay well hopefully we'll win that game either way time to jump into the final skin if I'm not having a a nightmare on the menus. How many times have been one HP? Probably. I'm gonna come back with a, a witty answer. Probably less times than the opponents have been. Oh yeah. Ah, there we go. I mean, the leopard looks cool. I like the spikes. They don't do anything other than look cool. But... I've spent gold on ammo. It was by accident multiple times. Because Wargaming's default for ammo is, is gold for some unbeknownst reason. I literally have no idea. Okay. Can you show us the E100? Yeah, sure. I can. Um, I can show the E100. It's been ages since I've played it. I don't even know that I've. You know what? Yeah, I don't even know that I've done a full video on the E100 yet. I must have done. I've. I've got to have done one. Stun pendant is even booty. Super booty cheeks. <laughs> Maybe if you're going against tier 8, 248 is okay. Like, 248 is more than enough for, like, tier 10s. Like,. If you're not penning tier 10s with 248, you're probably not hit hitting at the uh, hitting the weak points. To be honest, oh, we've got a few boys over there. Oh, it's an Ashtron. That is not good news. Please don't die. There we go. Safely, safely done. Safely done. Started playing what right now? Just to annoy me. Oh yeah. You can try my friends, you can try. I can get my revenge against all of the people that have pushed up too far. Can we hit the Capola of the 257? No. Nope. Right. Standard rounds versus premium rounds. Should we see if it really makes an effect? There's a 257. Uh, of course we now pen. Yeah. Totally fine. I don't know who's looking at me. I wonder if it's someone else. As if we hit that as well. Uh, would I platoon with some viewers in the future? Probably not, to be honest. Um... I will do, but we'll do like a training room, uh, but I can't have anyone like on the mic because I don't know what someone's going to say or do or whatever, so I just don't want to risk it to be honest.
because it is the internet and people are like hiding behind things on the internet. I think we're going to jump into a training room at some point. I'm going to have to get dinner because last last year's uh, last year's last week's stream went on for ages. Well, not that that's a bad thing, but it went on for ages and I, I'm so hungry by the end of it. I have no idea how some of these streamers like like Skill and Cricky Baby honestly stream for like eight hours. My voice hurts after like a little bit. I wonder if you get used to it. Don't need premium for the side of an STR VK. Oh no, my favourite tier 10 is coming. I'm going to get taken out, but there we go. Not a lot we can do, but to try and run. I'm surprised I got up here, to be honest. Eat a sandwich in one hand and play Artie in the other. Yeah, that's what Quickie Baby does, but... Between ruffle stomping people and and eating a sandwich, can we spot? Oh, we did. Machine doesn't want to play with us. It's not fun. Come on. I know your sho shocking weak point, machine. Thing is, he's actually doing what you should do. Bro's just gonna come over. Have we got any hit points over here? No. And he's not actually like a complete freak either. Go on. I'm not entirely sure if he has enough. Yes, he does. Damn it. That was his last shell as well. Oh, gutted. Have I ever heard of Kaizu? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of Kaizu. I follow him quite a bit on PC. <laughs> IS4 doing IS4 things, bouncing everything. I want to get the ice fall, but I'm stuck on the KV. <laughs> Damn, man. What have we got on the contracts? I don't know what I'm doing at the minute. Am I actually doing a contract? Have I been a bot and not realised? Yeah, I am, apparently. Medium tank. Oh, so... Thing is, it's this end stage which is like 510,000 XP. It's just so hard to complete. What's my most RAM kills with the 5-4? Um, I don't know. Probably probably a lot. Like, maybe 6. I'd probably say. I'd say. It's probably. Uh, skill has done um, done uh, like a lot of YouTube videos, and then of course streams. But he's he's like a uh, quite big on the PC. If you don't actually know who he is, I don't know if you're like being a memer. 
Um, Chris, uh, I can donate to your bucket fund so you don't need to leave the couch. Yeah, I wish. Uh, mate, I'd love to sit down and play games all day, but unfortunately, <laughs> doesn't pay the bills. Unless, of course, you're quickie baby and... Unless you play on PC and actually can... And actually have, like, a game to do it on. Unfortunately, our li us little console plebs, there are... We're the best, but there's not... There's not as many of us. It's not possible. I do follow skill QB and Iuxin. Yeah. I used to watch a lot of Iuxin's content. Before before he started going like massive, honestly his channel blew up in like three months, I swear. And then uh, he just casually disappears for like ages and ages. I've seen a few of you in the streams, you know, um, of some of the uh, PC streamers. I'll, uh, I'll drop in there and I'll like put a message in and I'll just see one of you guys being like, Hey, I know you. And I'll be like, yep, it is me. <laughs> Uh, God. QB is a casual player. I mean, he's still a very good player compared to like 99% of people. So, uh, he takes the game casually. Is probably a better... He's not a casual player, but he takes the game more casually than some of the others. Why did I know that you were going to say that, IXS? Why did I know that? That is just... Kem's man is an actual just... Like pretends like he's he's doing it for like a just righteous cause, but really it's just to get views. Literally, I, Kems is just an, an absolute donkey, to be honest with you. Like, I mean, if you enjoy racism and stuff like that, then yeah, go ahead and watch Kems. But that's literally what his content's about. Like, I'm gonna make this like really outrageous content for the sake of doing it to get views. That's literally it. I don't have a personality, so I'm gonna make content that literally is just there to trigger people. Man, I hate that guy. No, I'm not judging you off of watching it. It's free to be there, but like, <laughs> he's just oh man, he is something else. But there you go. That's just my take on on Kems. I'm sure he's a much nicer person than his videos make out. But. <laughs> <laughs> then again, maybe he's not. Maybe he is just as bad. He's one of those that, like, actually just doesn't understand what he's saying, if you know what I mean. Like, like as in, in terms of, like, what, what he's saying can actually offend people, and, it, like, he just doesn't understand that, like, maybe because his situation's completely different from other people, like... That's not the best idea. No one judges anyone in World of Tanks. No. No, trust me, you haven't missed anything by not knowing chems. Right. What do we play now? I'll play a few more before we end. But I don't know what to play. So, tank requests in the comments. I'm happy to play anything. I think we've run out of the auto-loading juice. I just couldn't deal with it today. 
the lichen. Man, this is a tank. Good evening, Louis. Hopefully you're doing well. I I will play the lichen, but I did say I'd play the iron rain earlier. So before I forget, we'll jump in the bad boy. I hate having to put camo. I wish you could apply to all. Close your eyes and click on a tank. Oh dear. Bro, it said needle. Alright, Germany. Has anyone got banned for one day and what? I got banned um, on World of Tanks a few times back in the day. It's usually for pushing my own teammates into the water. Or platoon mates even. Ages ago. So I used to... Um, as a funny thing... Holy... What? What the? Jay Lee with twenty dollars. And then and then X Trigger Mortis X with another twenty dollars. What the Oh my word, what is going on? Thank you very, very much, both of you. Thank you, Jay Lee. Uh, and thank you very much, Trigger Mortis. Uh Hey man, just sending this to see what you'll say later. I'm off. I'm at work at the minute. I love that. Love that. I want to see how you do in the Oho. You should unlock it. I know it's slow, but the derp gun and frontal armor stands up to tier 10s very well. What the? Man, you guys are like on fire today. What the? At the same time as well, that is actually so weird. <laughs> Thank you very much to both of you. I, uh, as always, really do appreciate it. I need to put like recent donator, uh, donations on like a tally as well because I feel like if someone donates and then someone else donates like instantly afterwards, they don't. It doesn't like show them. So I'll, I'll work on doing that. But uh, the, as for the oh ho, anyway. So I'm lost. I'm in the fog of war. Um. Yes, the Oho. I, I need to play that tank, man. I need to get the Type 5, so at some point I I will do it. Probably that will be my next Tier 10 tank line. How about that? You guys can witness me go through all of the tanks. Oh, God. We'll give it a go. We will do. Oh, what the? I'm actually... In Crazy man. You know, I actually thought we were gonna hit that fifty seven heavy there. You reckon he's Oh there we go. Love it. Ah oh, and we missed. Stream my grind. You know what? I w I'd love to stream more, but it's um, it's kind of difficult because I've got so much time that I need to like dedicate to doing videos as well as um, I've been starting the PC channel as well, which is like done extremely well for what I was expecting. But I'd l I would love. But it's one again. Once again, it's one of those things where you just have to like prioritize time. Like, if if I was doing it full time, I would be able to stream more. But I can't do it at full time because it, it economically it's not feasible for me to be able to do it full time. But yeah, I would if I could. 
But that's not to say I won't play on stream and grind. But maybe we'll do a a specific stream where we play it. Because I feel like at the minute, a lot of my my streams are just kind of tank requests, which I enjoy doing because you guys are like, oh, I want to get this tank. What's it like? And then I'll play it. Um, and then there's some that are completely different as well. Oh my, Bernie man, Bernie's putting on the burners again. He's burning his cash stack. I swear. What the? Oh my word. I swear to God, every stream, you guys are just a boss in the donations. Thank you, because it, it allows me to dedicate time to doing things like this. My word. Thank you, Bernie. As always, much appreciated. Playing with fire here up against the FV. I'm glad we got him out. Uh, Trigger Mortis with the $2 donation as well. I have the Type 5. The Oho is better. Okay. I heard that the Oni is a bit of a is a bit of a crapper, if you know what I mean. So I'll look forward to playing the Oho. I have no idea if I will actually like the whole tank line because uh, for me personally, I absolutely love fast tanks that are like good. But well, not even good, just fast tanks that have a bit of camo, maybe. I, d I hate, I hate big, slow ogres that rely on armor, because like 90% of the time, armor does not help you in World of Tanks. Bouncing. Oh, no, bounce. Not bouncing that one, though. Oh, yeah. Come on, Gorilla. Give me some assistance. Go for it. I was hoping he'd give us a track. Uh, Bernie, because you're the best. I'm not entirely sure about that. But I appreciate it either way. I swear you guys just fund a steak for Friday nights. <laughs> it's like my... Uh... You just buy me dinner on a Friday, I swear. Trigger Mortis with another donation. Holy cow. Only with Derp Gun as a seal clubber. I don't know. The Oni? I thought it doesn't have a uh, good armor. Play Lycan. And then uh, I will play a tank that isn't actually a tech tree. Uh, isn't a premium tank. <laughs> or a tier 10. Hey Eclipse, what do you think about tier 10? Every game I have at least 5 players on my team that are beginners. I think that's probably down to the fact that they released like tier 10 premiums as part of the season pass. And of course I get the worst map for light tanks. But the Lycan's not bad on this because it has the auto loader so you can get the alpha. E100 I found works best on the urban maps, open terrain's not so much. Yeah, the E100 is just way better on um, on town maps because there's more area for you to like hide your lower plate, like side scrape and stuff. Once you get the Oni line, you should only shoot HE in all those Japanese super. <laughs> Thing is, it gets like decent pen, doesn't it, with the HE? Well, I'd, I'd assume so, given the size of the damn thing. Use turbo vents, rammer, and shell switch. Yeah, I think the shell switch would be super handy on something like that. 
just because of the the long reload. I'm assuming you use the big big gun as well. One would assume. With the HE, you will do damage every time. What are you... Hello? they get the damage. I'll take a full reload, I'll go around them. Is it only 14 to 15 seconds? Is that the top gun? Like the big biggest gun that the tank has? I didn't actually know. Oh my. Of course. The timing is impeccable. I really did not need to lose like 90% of my health. You can hit people from in the base, you know. People always forget this. Like, uh, if you can't get back in time, sometimes people will camp on this corner. You can get shots on them. Just, I know that might be like a super common thing that everyone knows, but for those that didn't, it's a nice little position. Got it. Rounds on this effect. Like there, you could you could have caught that guy crossing, but it's probably not worth it for me. I'm just gonna have to go down. Now <laughs> bro did kamikaze on Eclipse, yeah. Man was a straight. He's far <laughs> firing on down. To be fair, it was the best thing he could have done because he was going to get taken out regardless. I'll let this guy go first. I don't want to get one shot if he has the dirt. One, two. Right, let's take a full reload. We might be able to get a full one off. It's probably me worth going after the uh, eradicator, to be honest. No, he's pushed him out of the way. Paladin just wanted to get himself taken out. Ah, there we go. We've won. Easy. Other than being ran by a by a comet, that wasn't that wasn't as easy, to be fair. Um, what is next? Let's let's get rid of the premiums. Uh, I don't know that I'm ready. I don't. <laughs> I'm not ready. This is not. I'm calling it now. It's going to end up terribly. It's a tier eight game as well. It isn't going to go well. Dog Merc. Uh, hi, I've been playing eight years now, on and off, but I've learnt a lot from your videos lately. Oh, well. 
thank you very much for watching them. I'm glad that they do actually help. It's always good um, when I see people that are actually uh, learning stuff or at least like feeling like they're getting something out of it because I have no idea most of the time other than like seeing some comments in the YouTube videos but um, I'm glad that they do help. 150 pen at tier 8. Good thing is most of the tier 8s in this game are penable. There's nothing we really can't pen to be honest. There's no heavies at the top tier which is nice. It's just whether we can get there before. Ten miles an hour. Ah, oh, this is just awful. Entire enemy team have gone the other way. Got a bulldog up there. Oh, that's what we love to see. Oh, my. What is the shell velocity on these things? Oh, it's a golfer, isn't it? Oh, I've forgotten. I had forgotten. I mean, we're being targeted by one of the worst inventions Wargaming have ever made. Otherwise known as the Arty, because... Fun. I don't think I can hit the lower plate. You know, I'm actually going to bounce off of the Pantera. Oh dear. Oh my god, a Cheeto, something I can pen. It's been a long time since I've done zero damage in a game. Hmm. Thing is, I don't even want to waste my free XP because I don't want the tank anyway. I, just, I I don't even know, man. I can't play slow heavies. They're just so boring. From Unicum to Unison. <laughs> yep. Should we see? I've played a few games in it, you know. I, I, I've no idea how well it's actually gone. I would expect... Uh, but by the way, Trigger Mortis, thank you very much for the donation. What of two dollars? Here's some shekels to give you patience. <laughs> Literally, right after get taken out. Just a perfect. Play four games, and I've won two of them. And thank you very much, Fat Little Bernie, for ten dollars as well. What the? Things popping off today. Thank you very much. For Eclipse, a zero damage game equals every few months. It probably, I'm not gonna lie, it probably is something like that. That actually, oh, that's triggered me, man. I, I've ruined my streak. What do we play? Screw it. We'll just. Squash like a bug achievement. What is that? Game card? Is that it? 
I don't even know how you... Should we, ha should we have a look at stats, should we? You know what? This is time I will never get back, my friends. This is time that I want... Ha right, okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm not even that far down. I'm sorry you had to witness that. What in the... 234 days. I will never get that back. Right, what do... What do we need to... What are we looking for? Squashed like a bug. I actually can't find it, you know. I played a lot of this game when I was like 16 and actually did nothing with my life. And through uni as well. So hence why the game time is ridiculous. But David and Goliath. I have no idea how you can find them. There's so many. I don't know. I'm sorry. I actually don't know. Anyway, enough of the boring stats. We will play. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's what 246 days of playing gets you, and we still haven't unlocked all of the tanks in the game. So, and we're not actually that close to it either. But this year, I will be unlocking all of the tanks in the game. That's my goal. We can play one more game in this tank. You know what, I'm going to take some HE, because... It might make my life just that little bit easier. Fingers crossed. Thank God you got the Sturm Tiger so you can get that Bombardier. Right. What else do we do? I think we'll play a few more. Ah, oh, maybe not. I need to have dinner, you know. Starving. I, d I actually don't know where to take this tank because I'm not going to be fast enough to get into the town, which is kind of what sucks. Maybe I should go into the town. Play the Conqueror gun carriage carrier. You mean the Conqueror game carrier? Churchill game carrier. What am I even saying? Churchill and his games carrier. Oh, uh, right. Squashing them like a bug. Is that where you ram them up against the building or something? Oh, not good. I'm going to take a hit here. And we missed as well. Is that a T-50-2, maybe? Yeah, looks like it. Lovely. Please move. Churchill, please move, man. This is... This is why... 
this game is literally why I hate slow heavy tanks. Because I've lost three quarter, two thirds of the whole point of the tank is to have more hit points when you get into action. And there's literally nothing. I could have camped in base, which like I do nothing, or move forward and lose two thirds of the hit point advantage. Well, all of the hit point advantage that a heavy tank gets, but now I have all of the disadvantages of being a heavy tank. Granted, some games you won't take any hits, and yeah, wow, it's so much fun, but yeah, it's still a bit, a bit crap. Which is why I hate being like super slow. Like, if even if you was an E100 there, you'd have been able to get in cover. But like super heavies like this, pointless. Lose literally everything mobility-wise for the sake of getting the same armor that like, or even worse than a lot of the other tanks. I keep forgetting that it, this isn't a fast fire either. Keep trying to do YOLO shots. Maybe we'll be able to do some damage this game. Oh yeah. Yeah the boys, come on. Great success. I can end the game right there and I'm absolutely fine. Still a T50-2 in the middle. He's hitting off on the... Should we see if we can see him? Hello. Would have gone for a YOLO shot with any other tank but this. LTG keeps getting away with it because I'm reading the chat. <laughs> Not actually paying attention. Oh no. Please, pen. Great success. Now our game is over because I don't have any hit points and. Neither does the T-34-1 on the enemy team, on the friendly team. You can go back to the garage as well. We're going to start getting attacked from behind. I'm going to side scrape so maybe this guy can at least get some damage. We need to take this guy out as quickly as possible. Can we go? Can we go? Let's go, boys. Or singular boy. Ah. <sighs> I hate these slow tanks, man. I would have been able to carry if, um, maybe, if I didn't lose all the health at the start. And granted, you can go further back than what I did, which I'd always recommend if you cross. Oh, did I take advanced reload on this? I didn't even know that. Right. One last one. Can we get a decent game? Probably not. But I'll uh, finish it up there then. Thing is, turbo on this is not going to make a difference because it's that slow anyway. Like you get an extra, what, like 10% or something like that. So you, even with the additional 10% that you can get, it's, not, it's not, still not going to be that good. Right then. I'll take off the glasses for this one. Might play better then.
fingers crossed. Apparently. I always forget that this tank has the little ones. Do I know where to get real-time map look? Map rotation. As in like this. The mini-map thing. Is that what you're on about, Saint? Oh my word. Bernie. Surely not. Five dollars again. Blimey. Bernie. <laughs> Once again, burning through the cash stack. Thank you very much, mate. Much appreciated. Oh no, my capture card stopped working. What is that happening? Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Must have frozen. Computer looks like it should be fine. The in-game map rotation schedule. Oh, right. You mean like what's in the actual game? Like what maps are in the rotation? Right, I see. I didn't know what you meant for a sec. I think it must be if you... I think Wargaming said that they'd come out with it at some point, so... We might see it. We've lost this game again. Tier 8 as well. Well, so far I'm absolutely despising playing this tank. So. At least we pen the chi -ri. I mean, that's an added bonus. Not that we can pen anything with these small little derp cannons. That's like a boat to turn. That's the few is bad for the Cheeto, man. Well, we avoided one of the arties. Hopefully it was the GW Panther. <laughs> Yo, end the stream on a positive note. Fat, fat little wallet. wallet. <laughs> oh dear. Can we get revenge from earlier on the Ragnarok? What do you reckon? Is he going to realise? Ah, oh, good. I mean, we did get revenge. It just wasn't the revenge we were looking for. I was hoping to pen him with HE. But 75 pen is not, not fantastic. Can't pen anything with a HE. Oh, 
Oh well. Guess we can always take out an ARL. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Just, I don't know why I fired then. I was never going to pen. Get an assistance damage somehow. Right. You've never seen an OI get 600. Chris, do you follow any other channels related to tanks, but not World of Tanks? Uh, I've watched a few Cone of Arc videos. Uh, I watch uh, War Thunder videos from Fly Daily, I think is called. Some of those are pretty interesting. Um, obviously different game, and not related to tank. I've watched a few of the Tank Museum videos when they've done them, which are kind of interesting. But pure tank ones, then not huge. Uh, tank chats, yeah, yeah. I've I've watched a few from him. I've not heard of Lindy Beige. Military history visualized. I've watched like some. I watched a few history videos channels as well. I did try and make my own history channel at one point. Um, safe to say it didn't go that well. Well, it did. It just took so long to do the videos because they were like fully animated. It used to take like 40 hours just to do one video, which is uh, a lot. Especially when you don't get paid for it or anything. And like to make it half consistent you have to do it all of the time. Like Yeah, no. Pretty hard. T twenty five slash two where I spooked some. I'm assuming that that's a play on words of the sponson, right? Oh, we missed. I'm coming for your T twenty five slash two. Very slowly, but I am coming. course it hits. World of Tanks doing its thing. Hey there T25 slash 2. Shame you bounced. It would be a real shame if in 6 seconds time you don't get taken out by our teammate in the uh, let down. Uh, we lost out. We actually came top in a tier 8 game. Hello there. First class. Best game I've had in this tank. Maybe. I don't think it is, but... Oh my word. Chris, the chemist. £10 donation. Thank you very, very much. Great Friday entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it as always. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. We're getting there with the Oni. Anyway, I think we are going to end the stream there on a positive note rather than me getting taken out by some questionable plays so thank you very very much for everyone that's watched everyone that's donated obviously for being a part of the stream and anyone that's commented uh, if you do want to help out this video then please do hit the like button as it will help it like spread to more people um, but other than that uh, I hope you do enjoy the rest of your weekend and um, we've got a few videos coming out over the weekend for you guys to hopefully enjoy. Fingers crossed. Anyway, thank you and goodbye.